hi guys welcome back to my channel it goes down on wednesday at 12 o'clock every wednesday don't miss a video hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed if you are new to my channel thank you for watching my videos check out my other videos help a girl out i'm trying to blow up share on social media like comment guys this is the topic right here so let's go let's get started So let's just go ahead and jump in. People like to pray only when they're going through something bad. So I'm going to help y'all out and tell y'all that's exactly not how prayer works. You cannot go on living your life not thanking God, not thanking the Lord. Now, this video is for anybody. Whatever Lord or God you believe in, it all fits. Same thing. Whatever you're praying about, whoever you're praying to, it's all the same. Okay? So, therefore, whoever you're praying to, you cannot just only pray during the negative times. You have to be able to pray during the good times when you're okay, when you wake up through the day. That's how prayer works. You don't just call up on a higher power when you're going through something and you want help. And then a miracle happened and you get through that situation and now you act like you don't know who he is no more. And now you're going through a bigger situation and you're calling on him again. Now, when you was going through all this other time, you done got uh, money. You ain't say thank you. And you got to put, put a roof over your head. You breathing. You walking. You talking. No thank you or nothing. You don't even know who he is. Then soon as you get in a serious situation, you get to praying. And then you want to say stuff like, I'm losing my faith in you because I feel like you're not listening to me. Y'all. If y'all watch my past life videos, I told y'all I lost my faith a long time ago when I was going through college. The difference is, is I really don't think that I lost it. It was more like I was mad at God. And it's okay to be mad and frustrated because you get all these situations that happen in your life. Nobody told you that everything was going to be perfect. Everything was going to be okay. And that's what I had to realize. That some of the situations that God put me in made me the person that I am today. So people ask me, would you take anything back from your past? Honestly, nothing. I went through a lot, but I will go through it all again to be able to be this person that I am today. You can look at other family members and stuff and you can see what you could have been like if you didn't have that type of religion or something in your life to hold on, to believe in something, to keep the positivity. So what I'm getting to is you do not just pray when you're going through something. Uh, then when it don't happen, you get mad. That's not how it works. Like I sometimes I think people think that God is foolish or something because he knows who you are. He knows what you're finna to pray before you finna to pray. He knows your heart. He knows that you only praying because you're going through this situation. And if he was to help you out this situation, here you go again, not knowing who he is. And I'm not saying you got to get up and go to church every Sunday. I'm not saying none of that to believe up in, to believe up in whatever God you want to believe in. But I'm going to just use my God, okay? Whatever you believe in. Now, you don't have to get up and go to church. You don't have to do none of that. You just got to know how you're supposed to walk in life and what standards you're supposed to go by. First of all, I just believe people should just have a really good heart. Like, God is going to judge you off your heart, off your soul. And I told you, I'm always keep it real. I told y'all I lost it one time. And again, to be honest, like I said earlier, I really don't think that I ever really lost it. Like I said, I think I was just mad. And because I went right back to it, I was lost for a little while, but I went right back to it. But even that moment when I was lost, God was still with me because I was just mad, but I still wasn't like, doing crazy stuff or whatnot i had said i lost my faith but i was just like going to parties you know just hanging out with friends staying out late i wasn't doing anything bad criminal or sinful really i wasn't even doing anything so god was still with me the whole time and it took me just to see some of uh, other people that was less fortunate than me for me to get right back to who i was and become the person that i am today so again Nobody said life was going to be easy. Everybody goes through something. We all go through something. Just because you believe in a higher power does not mean that your life will be perfect. You are going to have storms. You are going to have some thunderstorms. You're going to have some rain. You're going to have some sunny days. You're going to have different days. You're going to have happy days. All I, all I can tell you is when you get to those very, very hard days, you don't need to only pray just on those days. Pray through the day. 
I'm going to tell you now, when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I, I wake up and say, oh, Lord, thank you for waking me up. I'm, able to, I'm brushing my teeth. I'm alive. I'm walking. I'm talking. I'm able to make this video. See, I think sometimes we forget about the small blessings that he actually gives us that you could just be thankful for. So you don't have to pray all day long, all through the day. You don't have to do all of that. But you cannot just only pray doing the negative situations and you want something to turn around and the miracle to happen and then it don't happen and then you get mad and then one thing i need y'all to understand about negative situations god didn't put us in half of these situations we put ourselves in these situations okay and sometimes these situations that we put ourselves in he's teaching us a lesson it's a lesson out of that situation that we need to learn and so this situation seem, seem impossible dang is he not listening to me do he not hear my prayers like what is going on? Like, I'm about to stop believing up in you because you're not helping me. That's not how it works. These situations sometimes are to teach us a lesson because we got ourselves in the situation. God did not put us in those situations. We got ourselves in some of those situations. And then now you wonder like, hmm, but all you can do is keep, keep your faith. Don't lose your faith. Keep your faith. Because you have to keep pushing through even if the situation don't turn out how you want it to. God knows the future. So therefore, some in the future might need you to go through this situation because I'm telling y'all, like all the stuff I went through in my life, those those situations made me a better person, made me more patient made me more understanding you know so i can see here and i can tell y'all how good god was to me and how good he is to me even though i went through all of those situations that i went through and most of the situations growing up i couldn't even do anything about those and i didn't put myself in those situations you know so and then you sit here and like shana well how can you be so thankful when you went through all that stuff i'm telling y'all if y'all knew the person that i could have been Y'all would be like, oh, okay, I okay, I see. It made me uh, appreciate a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna share something with y'all. I remember when I moved into my first apartment, I'd have any furniture. I slept on the floor. On the floor, yes, you heard me right. I slept on the floor until I got some furniture. So that made me appreciate every single thing from then starting there because I never had to sleep on the floor. And so I worked, I worked, I worked finally got me a couch that was the first thing i got and then after i after i got the couch the couches was cheaper than beds back then after i got the couch i slept on the couch for a little while then i started furnishing my house little by little being thankful like thank you lord i got this you know i, I believe in you i know you're right here with me and i'm telling y'all ever since i was 18 he has held on to me and I've held on to him. I've let go. I've held on. I've let go. I did the whole roller coaster ride. So I'm here to tell y'all that that's not how prayer works. But once I decided to go back and I started saying like, Lord, like, okay, I'm done. I've been through too much. I'm not dealing. I'm not trying to solve no more of my problems. I'm not going to do none of that. I give them all to you. That's exactly what I did. A situation come up and people be looking at me like, God can fix it. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I got faith up in him. That's how easy it is for me. And so as you begin to pray the correct way, as you begin to pray the correct way, you will then see that your life becomes a bit easier. I didn't say it wasn't going to always be easy, become easier because you start giving your situations to God. Learn how to pray the right way. Thank y'all for watching my video. Like, subscribe, share. And I hope this helps some people just learn how to pray the correct way. Do not pray during just negative times. Pray through the good, the bad, the negative, the happy, the sad, every single thing. And you will have a better life. Thank you. See you next Wednesday, 12 o'clock. It goes down.